Hello and welcome! I am Sarah D, a beginner creative, here today to paint a lovely little largemouth bass. I call myself a beginner even though I've already been creating for 13 years because I have only just begun taking it seriously. Taking it seriously to me means actually making it a practice. I'm only 24 and I'm very young, but I'm at the age where I need to start taking my life seriously. I need to feel fulfilled and doing that to me is learning how to paint to the skill level that I want. I really want to share myself with other people. In this day and age, sharing yourself with people isn't something new, but it's something new to me. I have always been really bad about sharing my life with my family and friends, and I'm just trying to give it a try. Though, what really held me back for a long time was not feeling good enough to share myself. Feeling like I have been in a very incomplete state of my life and not good enough to share with other people. But the thing is, nobody is in a complete state. Nobody is quote unquote good enough to share with other people. And so you just have to start. And how I'm starting is with this video. This is my first video, and I'm learning how to paint a fish, something that I've never painted before in my life, never really had the urge to paint in my life, but I'm working on this piece, this large painting, and I have to paint two fish. <laughs> and I've never done it before, so I'm practicing. So in this video, I'm working on a largemouth bass. I like to paint with acrylics. My brand of choice is Windsor & Newton. And this fish is very green. It's a very, very green fish. Uh, and I feel like my camera quality isn't awesome, so it might be a little hard to distinguish between uh, values. But I think it's a cool video. I'm learning how to paint a fish. That's awesome. And speaking of learning, learning, I feel, is a very, very long-term process. Learning takes up the entire existence of humanity. We are always learning. Uh, we learn from life to death. We are constantly learning. And as somebody with ADHD, it's hard for me to be patient when I'm learning. I want to be good at things right away, and I really want to be successful with everything right away. And so I just have to keep reminding myself that learning takes a long time, and I can't be good right away, and every little accomplishment is actually a big accomplishment because I'm learning, because I'm learning something new and I'm not good right away, and that's awesome. Because if I was good right away, I would never feel excited to learn something new. A huge thing that I learned while painting this largemouth bass was that I need to pay more attention to space and how much space a subject takes. At the beginning of the video, you might have noticed that I painted the fish a little too short, so I extended it around the mouth. And that was me kind of trying to evaluate exactly how much space this fish took up. And even in the end, the fish actually ended up a lot more squashed than it should have been. It was actually kind of a longer, thinner fish, but I do like how it turned out anyway. Ultimately though, I 
recognize that an opportunity for me to learn would be maybe sketching out the painting before trying to paint it and taking a step back and trying to evaluate exactly how much space this subject should take or maybe just like checking the proportions and making sure the proportions are correct so that I can get everything as accurate as possible. I'm not somebody who is a complete perfectionist. I am like a perfectionist up to a certain level, but I will be completely happy with a finished product that isn't perfect. So I'm not completely concerned and upset that this fish didn't turn out exactly accurate, but I do recognize that there are things that I could do better next time, or even on the actual painting that I'm practicing for. If you are a painter wanting to learn how to paint with acrylics, or just paint at all, I highly recommend acrylics because they're so forgiving. Um, I've never painted with oils, but I know that there's a lot more that goes into them. They're a lot thicker, I think. I think there are like thinning mediums you can use, but acrylics dry really fast and you can always wipe them away if they aren't dry and you don't like what you made. Um, and you can just paint them on paper. I found this like thick acrylic paper. Anyway, I highly recommend practicing random subjects that you might not think that you would regularly paint. I like to paint kind of like cutesy things uh, for the most part. I mean, not super cutesy, but this last year I have painted a few I've basically copied photos of like random objects that I thought would be interesting. I painted a bowl of tangerines and that taught me a lot about light and values and using it in a real setting. It's one thing to learn it in art class and like how to draw that, but painting it and using color is so challenging and I highly recommend painting a bowl of fruit. Uh, and then I also did, I call it an item study because it's just a picture of random items. And that also taught me a lot about color value. And honestly, that painting taught me a lot about the difference between cobalt blue and phthalo blue. <laughs> and as someone with ADHD, I, my thoughts are, maybe it's not even just ADHD, but my thoughts are always on the finished project product. I'm always like, okay, this is where I want to go, but I never think about the actual process. So doing random item studies has been just huge for my general learning of painting. And I'm sure I'm self-taught. I didn't go to school for art. Um, and I know it's not too late, but the economy is shit. So I'm probably not going to go. And I'm pretty sure that they just do that when you go to college for painting. But guess what? I did it for the cost of the paint and the canvas, and that's it. <laughs> and it was so valuable. It was so worth my time, and I'm so proud of them. And while doing them, I learned a lot about myself and my own process. So. Painting this fish is very valuable to me. I learned so much while painting and I highly recommend it to beginners and uh, experienced painters alike. Something I also want to say is I am a full-time laborer. I have a full-time job. And that means that I have so little time to work on my skills and my hobbies and then also self-care. So sometimes I don't get to painting and that makes me really upset. 
but once again, everything takes time. Learning takes time, painting takes time, and you just have to like learn to be patient. I just have to learn to be patient and be accepting and be kind to myself. The point is to remain determined despite feeling downtrodden, despite feeling like you don't have enough time. Keep working at it. Whatever little time you have, five minutes, 10 minutes, an hour a day, it's so worth it because in the end, you're building your skill, you're learning so much, and f to me, it, it's literally therapeutic. It makes me feel so much better after painting. I feel like I'm expressing myself, and I can be myself, and it's awesome. And if you're an artist, you definitely know what I mean. This fish was undeniably challenging and extremely fun to paint. I learned how valuable a round brush is. Fantastic, definitely gonna get at least two more of those because uh, the ones I have aren't the perfect size for what I want. <laughs> um, fish are really hard to paint. Fish are extremely hard to paint. You have to get all of their little colors in there. They're iridescent, they have scales, and I'm not a realism painter. Painter, I do not appreciate every single little detail personally. Uh, so <laughs> painting a fish was a huge challenge when it came to the details. Um, I loved painting the eye, that was awesome. And I liked the midsection. And I really, honestly, I felt like I had a breakthrough when it came to the fins. Those, uh, I, were, I was really intimidated by because I'm always intimidated by something that's like translucent or transparent. But those ended up being fairly easy. I think once you get the background gradients in there, it's a lot easier because then all you have to do are like the, the prominent lines. So, that's that. I painted a fish. I actually painted more fish, but I probably won't post the video. I might post it on Instagram uh, if you want to follow me there at Sarah D. Create. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I had so much fun talking to you about being an artist and being a beginner. Uh, if you liked this video, please give it a like um, or just let me know in the comments whether you liked it or not. Uh, look out for a series I'm doing on artists. I'm doing artist biographies. They're super casual, so don't probably don't use them for a term paper. That'd be great. And uh, subscribe if any of that sounds interesting to you. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.